you know? Now, I actually input in one of them the Jonas Brothers, and then I used the lyrics of Joy to the World. I have not been to the barbers in seven weeks, so my hair's seen better today, so I'm keeping this on for the duration of this video, if that's fine with you guys. Um, other than my hair, though, I'd like to speak about a few developments I have made with regards to my current project that I've got going on, and as well, I'd like to talk about a sub project which I've undertaken uh, with Craze the Jack about one of his recent releases. It's, it's craft. Allow me the liberty to maybe go into a tangent with this segment. I'd like to talk about my recent developments, my current developments actually. I'm not going to talk about what I've already done. I'm talking about the stuff that I'm doing right now. I was doing a bit of procrastination. I'd like to call it research, but it's procrastination. And I came across a video of Rick Ashley's Never Gonna Give You Up. However, it was an A-B comparison of the original song and one created by artificial intelligence, a computer. I was mind blown and I did a bit more research after that, not procrastination this time, proper research. And I came across AI, open AI, that's right. And they've got a whole thing about it, if you want to call it that. Now, of course, I'm not good with any proper deep computer stuff. However, I called a friend and one of my friends helped me with this, Jordan, thank you. We actually found out a way to use this right here, right now, using Google Colab, and it is brilliant. Now, I actually input in one of them, the Jonas Brothers, and then I used the lyrics of Joy to the World. This is what that sounded like. Joy to the world, and the world is calm. Let us receive the you know, I did a lot more work and I actually put in Hans Zimmer like that and I put like soundtrack music and you know, you can actually pair different artists together so I stick Katy Perry in so it's a Hans Zimmer, Katy Perry like that it's a bit like Adele in some ways maybe but it's maybe not like that And I actually mapped out the tempo and everything and I was able to put this in and try and make it my own by cutting and chopping it so it all made sense. And from that, I was able to create this. I'd like to talk about the project that I did with Craze the Jack, or Craig as I know him as. He came to me with the proposal of creating a song in response to this whole situation that we're all living in. The very essence that we wanted to get at though is 
to thank the NHS, our National Health Service, for what they have currently done for us and are doing for us at the moment. We also wanted to capture the, the feelings of what it is like during these times. Rather than taking everything in one huge stride, we wanted to take it day by day, one day at a time, which is the whole line of the song, the whole base of the song. My whole job in this ordeal was to create the song, or compose it really, and then produce it, mix and master it, and then create album artwork and a music video to accompany it. Uh, after further talking to him, he wanted to turn this into a fundraising event as well. So this ended up raising quite a lot of money, which I'm quite proud of. So enough talking about this whole project. I want to get into the project here. And right now I've got this whole project open. So starting off with the drums, very simplistic. It's just drums, clap, bit of tambourine here and there, two loops. This is what it sounds like during the chorus. It's got a bit of a swing, a bit of a lope to it, which I quite like. This is the drums during the last chorus with a bit of tambourine in it. It's very simplistic and it does the job. Now, this is the drums during the verses, which is a bit more low key. I like that. Bass, again, very, very, very simplistic. It's just a sub, which I've added a lot of saturation to, to give it a bit more character. And I've also done a bit of side chaining to it, which sort of affects the, the envelope. This is it without any effects. On the drums. Now this is a lo-fi hip-hop song. It's quite uncommon to see guitars within hip-hop. However, within lo-fi, it's quite a staple. Uh, I decided to go for more of a grittier, clean sound, if that makes any sense. It's got a bit of grit. It's not too distorted. It's quite clean, but it's gritty. I've said that enough. Better to demonstrate it. Other than the chords, I also have a little bit of picking on the dusty end as well, which adds a bit of effects as well. This is what that sounds like. Very simplistic. So moving on to the leads, they're all pretty much doing the same thing. They're different patches, however they are pretty much doing exactly the same thing. They're quite repetitive for my tastes. A bit too repetitive actually. However, this is what the leads sound like on their own. If you've made it this far, comment AI, artificial intelligence, AI, just that, you know, just so I know that you're watching. Now, moving on to the keys. Now I've got two main sort of keys going on. I've got a Rhodes, or well, a few Rhodes going on, Fender Rhodes, and I've got a Kalimba patch happening as well. With regards to the Rhodes, I don't have a great Rhodes sample or whatever you might want to call it, so I've sort of compiled a few other Rhodes samples to try and create a more authentic Rhodes sound. I'm using a Serum patch and two Profit patches, similar to what I was using with the lead sounds. However, with these profit sounds, uh, they're quite distorted and what I've done is I've actually split the keys apart, if that makes any sense. So one's doing the low end, the other one's doing the high end, just so that I can get a bit more control over the distortion and everything. This is what the roads sound like.
Along with those roads, I also have some kalimbas. Now, these are like a finger-picked instrument. I don't have any of myself. However, this is what the kalimba sounds like on its own. Very simplistic, I love it. However, what I decided to do with this is to reverse reverb it, add a bit more tension in some ways, and this is what the reverse reverbed kalimba sounds like. And in context with the kalimba itself, this is what it sounds like. Quite nice vibey sound. This inspired me then to create more of these sounds, so I actually created a reverse reverbed kalimba sound, which sounds like this. And then it's also paired with a bit of, it's almost like grain, it's almost like sand, you're sanding, you're dropping sand onto the kalimba, this is what that sounds like. Now, as I was saying, I also got some atmospheric samples and I have done a few bits and pieces to them to make them quite different to the original sample. They are all originally from Spliced, which is a subscription service which allows you to use samples. However, I've manipulated them in such a way where they no longer sound the same. I've bounced them out a few times and I've cut them up in many different ways. There's lots of reverb, lots of delay. This is what those tonal ambient sounds like. <laughs> With regards to the music side, I also added a few effects, which, you know, in context to the music works. However, this is what they all sound like. Very 2000s sort of sounding. 808 kick, you know, whatever you want to call it. It works within context, like I said. This is what everything sounds like without the vocals. This is what the vocals pretty much sound like when they're isolated. It's gonna be okay It's gonna be fine It's gonna get better one day at a time One day at a time You know, within context, this is what the vocals sound like It's gonna be okay It's gonna be fine It's gonna get better one day at a time One day at a time and just for good measure, I added a bit of talk box. <laughs> Which I quite like. It's a nice subtle variation to it. This is what the whole track sounds like. Within the first week of its release, we were able to raise about £420 and that went directly to the NHS. I'm both humbled and proud to be a part of this. And as well, we were able to get about 12,000 views on Facebook and a few more thousand on streaming platforms, which I'm both humbled and proud to be a part of. I'm glad I got to be a part of this project. So that is it for now. I will post a few more updates regarding this song and the whole idea of AI created music. So other than that, I hope you guys have a good day.